Okay, so whenever a patient of cervical spine surgery gets shifted to your ICU for observation, specifically if the surgery is done on high cervical, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6 or C7 also you can take, you need to observe two things. One, what was the pre-op power of the patient in all four limbs and what is the post-op power in all four limbs, whether it's same, decreased or increased. Secondly, most importantly, you need to see what is the type of respiration, whether it's thoracoabdominal or abdominothoracic, because and if the patient's phrenic nerve has involved, which roots well, which has root value of C3 to C5, then the patient respiration will get hampered. It will be more of abdominal thoracic. You need to see how is the chest expansion, whether the patient is able to expand the chest completely or not. Because what happens if the patient is not able to expand the chest? The patient will start retaining CO2, the patient will become drowsy and then sudden collapse. Saturations will not fall in the early stage. So do read more about it and keep a watch on chest expansion in such patient. Thank you.